Hey guys, what is up? It is Castle Perfect here, bringing you another edition of my Pokemon Wi-Fi battles. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you guys have had an amazing holiday season and everything is going well with your family. You had a lot of food to eat. So, now it's time to sit down and enjoy some videos from uh, old Castle Perfect here. <laughs> now, for today's upload, guys, I have uh, a Wi-Fi match versus uh, Mega Keldeo. His li the link to his channel will be down in the description. You guys can go ahead and click it after this video, obviously. And uh, <laughs> you can go ahead and check him out. Now, uh, we first had a battle and uh, we had, it ended up in a disconnection, so we decided to start it all over again with different leads. And this time it's Go Goat versus My Tyranny. I'm obviously going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks. I don't see a problem here, so he decided to switch out uh, into his Zapdos, which is totally fine by me. I get up the rocks and then proceed to go for the Stone Edge. Now, this is quite surprising. Um, one, he leaves, which is like, holy shit, what a defensive monster. And two, he's lower, so that pretty much gives away that he's a defensive variant, which is totally good for me because right now I know he's going to try and uh, roost off the damage, remove the flying type, and be able to live with more HP uh, after I go for another Stone Edge. So I'm a little bit smarter than that, and I thought ahead of, my, of that uh, episode, so I was like, uh, screw that, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Dance, uh, that's much better. So now I'm at a plus one attack, a plus one speed, and I'm gonna fire off another Stone Edge, and that is going to take down the Zapdos. Now, if you, you know, if you just have a, a very sharp eye to what just happened right now, he has the pressure ability, meaning I lose two power points per move that I use, meaning I've lost four of my power points on my Stone Edge, and it only has five, so I only have one Stone Edge left, and I needed to save it for later. So I'm going to switch out here after he shows up with a Greninja and I was like, I don't want to take an Ice Beam to the Doom so I might as well just switch to my specially defensive wall here or tank actually because this thing can take hits forever but it can fire up some really really powerful moves. So um, now that I do predict the uh, no, you know, the switch into AG Slash, I'm like, I need to protect myself from this thing so I'm gonna go ahead and put up the Reflect because on the next turn I'm going to be hard switching to my Salamence to use Intimidate to lower its attack and you know, set myself in a position where I can pretty much easily handle the uh, Aegis Slash with my Solomons uh, because uh, Osalamandra has access to Fire Blast and Earthquake so I can pretty much easily deal with this guy um, and I can, you know, thank some hits for, uh, coming from it because I have the Reflect up and uh, it is actually a minus one attack but now at plus one uh, instead of plus two. Now it's gonna go for the King Shield and I'm gonna go for the Fire Blast just to, you know, scout if uh, he has the King Shield because I've seen some which don't even use uh, King Shield at all, and I'm like, wow, that's 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 something new. But this one has King Shields, and that's very good because I now decided to switch up moves. I go for the Earthquake instead of the Fire Blast because that does more damage, and uh, that is pretty good. Does a little bit above above 50%, which is great because it's gonna be a two-hit KO. He goes for the Iron Head, does not do that much damage because of the Reflect and uh, you know the Intimidate ability of Salamandra uh, helping me out uh, at the very beginning. So he's gonna change stance once again to the defensive form, he's gonna go for the King Shield. Um, one little thing here is I am not um, a Rocky in this game, so I know the, the, the probabilities of him going for another King Shield were way too high, so I was like, I'm gonna play this off smart and I'm gonna Dragon Dance. Now I'm a sit I, I am sitting at a really good spot uh, from where I can see a, a sweep going on, like seriously, I can pretty much, you know, take a huge dump on his face right now. <laughs> But that's not going to be the case, uh, which is good because the battle then becomes better. So he's going to change tanks, gonna go into um, pretty much attack form, he's gonna go for the Shadow Sneak, that's gonna do a little bit more damage because the Reflect is now down. And uh, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Claw, just a safe move, I knew it would kill from that range and uh, it stabbed, you know, and all that. Um, so I take him down, and that is very good because I don't want I don't wanted him to be switching out, switching in a go go on my earthquake. So that was you know the way to go. And he could also have predicted my earthquake and switched out into South Talon Flame, but it didn't really happen. But it's okay, it's okay. I take down the Edge Slash, which is more important. Now he's gonna bring out his Talon Flame, and obviously go and I go for the Brick Bear and take me right out. Um, he gets a critical hit by the way, which doesn't matter. And obviously the Talon Flame was the pain of uh, Solomon's existence right there, which is, you know, it's totally fine. Because right now I'm gonna bring out Tyranny, and this is like the best counter ever for a Talon Flame. Especially when it has Dragon Dance. Like, I know he's going to go for the Roost, and I know he wants to remove his Flying-type 
allowing him to be, you know, uh, a little bit more resistant to the Stone Edge. But I'm like, no, I only have one Stone Edge and I'm definitely not wasting it on Talonflame. I know Talonflame is not uh, like the best defensive Pokemon, so I can do some massive damage with Fire Fang. Not to mention, I can take like a couple of Brave Birds here and just, you know, you know just keep on Dragon Dancing. Um, and every time he actually attacks me, he loses more HP because of the recoil and the Rocky Helmet that I'm uh, holding. And I'm gonna go for another Dragon Dance, which is good, because uh, now I'm at plus 2 attack and plus 2 speed. And right now I could have gone for, you know, after this turn, obviously after a sponge this Break Bird, it's not gonna do that much. Um, I can basically just go for a Fire Fang, and that is actually going to help me out, you know, take down this guy. Um, he's taking some heavy recoil and everything, but I got a little bit cocky now that I see it. <laughs> I went for three Dragon Dances just to make sure that everything would die from a Fire Fang. Um, you know, just wanted to make sure in case I do end up missing my Stone Edge or something weird happens. Um, so he's gonna go for the Brave Bird. Um, I got a little bit too cocky because had he gotten a critical hit right there, my whole strategy would be messed up and I would be looking like an idiot. So luckily that doesn't happen. I'm, I'm able to fire off a Fire Fang and that is going to be not super effective um, against the Talon Flame, but it's gonna be way more than sufficient uh, to take him down. So. Um, I take him down, which is great. Now he's gonna bring out his Greninja, and this thing, uh, I was like, man, it's funny to see a Tyrantrum outspeed a Greninja, which is probably trained in uh, max speed, you know. It, it's just funny to see. So it goes down to a Fire Fang, which is, by the way, not super effective, and yeah, that just goes to show the power, man. 3 plus 3 attack and a strong yo as ability. Holy shit, that is way too powerful. So at this point I was like, you know, Fire Fang, I, I doubted it for a second and I was like, no, I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge. Uh, luckily it, it, it actually ends up hitting the Hydreigon and I take down the Hydreigon and he's gonna bring out his Gugot. <laughs> and you can probably tell what's going to happen. Fire Fang to the Doom. Uh, you know, pretty much crunched that thing to death and uh, it pretty much goes down there. And that was a mini sweep. Well, it, was a, it wasn't really a mini sweep right here, it was just a complete sweep by Tyrantrum. Um, it's actually one of the first times that I've ever seen Tyrantrum do so much work, um, especially because it was meant to set up the Stealth Rocks and sometimes go for the Dragon Dance. And I guess this time Dragon Dance was the way to go. So, guys, thank you very much for all the support. Remember to keep up the likes, the comments, and everything. You guys are so amazing, and we're becoming a great big family, and uh, that is totally awesome. So, definitely keep up the support. If you want to go ahead and check out Mega Kale, your link will be down in the description. You can always go ahead and click that. Other than that, Merry Christmas to everybody, and uh, Happy Holidays. Take care.